Let's run through a five move back workout that starts with a lot of drop set ideas and it ends with a finisher that's really gonna challenge you to own the top of your pull up position. How you get to the top of a pull up position really matters and that's what we're really gonna focus on attacking at the end here. Let's get to it. So we'll start this workout off with four sets of cable row work and we're gonna use disciplined drop set principles here. So you'll lead off each set with eight to 10 reps and you're trying to go heavy here. As soon as you finish off those eight to 10 reps, you're gonna drop the weight and take off a decent amount, probably at least 30 or 40 pounds. And then you're going right back to work for another six to eight reps. Now the back end of a standard drop set can easily be a bunch of sloppy quick reps, but we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen by adding some tempo to this. So you're gonna get a two second pause when the bar is at your rib cage, and then you're doing a slow and controlled return back to the start. The key on all these reps, both the standard reps and the drop set reps, is that for the style of row that we're doing here, you wanna be super active with your core. You're thinking about pulling at the elbows and trying to keep every other part of your body completely quiet and controlled. You've got four sets of work here. We'll follow that with three sets of kneeling pull down work. And again, here you're going discipline drop set. Your first eight reps should be standard pull down reps. You're really trying to pull that bar to your chest but you wanna make sure to do that responsibly so you're working to keep your abs tight so that they really contain your rib cage. Then after you get those eight to 10 reps, you're again gonna drop the weight, take out 20 or 30 pounds, and from there we're going six to eight half full reps. So on these, you're again grabbing that bar the same way, you're gonna pull down all the way to your chest, then you're gonna come halfway up, pause, and then pull down back to your chest again. So that's a lot of extra time under tension for both your rhomboids and your lats and your building body control too. Also really linger for a second when you get to that halfway position. Take that opportunity again to really tighten your abs so that you pull those ribs down. It's a little bit of extra posture practice. We're doing three sets here. So we've done a horizontal pull and a vertical pull. Now let's have some fun. We're gonna do three sets of incline row work and we'll lead each set off with two 10 second constant tension plate pulls. So on these, you're pulling that plate aggressively into the bench and then keep pulling. Your goal is to be Superman and aggressively split that plate in two, even though it won't happen. If you do it right and keep pulling hard, it's really going to light up that mid back and those lower lats. After those two plate pull reps, you're going to grab dumbbells and then we're going right into double to single work. So now we shift from variation that's basically lighting up our whole back to a little bit more unilateral work and a little more core focus. Aim to do six to eight total double to single reps. And remember how that plate pull felt? And when you do that double rep and you're holding that one dumbbell high, channel that and really keep pulling throughout the motion. Three sets here. We'll do three sets per side of our third move. And that's the offset single arm straight arm pull down. And you wanna do 10 to 12 good reps per side. So the way this works, as you can see, I'm set up a little off center of that cable column and I'm pulling down at the diagonal pattern key to this, while I'm pulling down at an angle, I'm keeping my core and glutes active so that my hips and shoulders stay square to the cable column. To ensure that I stay square, I also have to really take my time with my reps. The other thing I'm doing is I'm really being in control of my shoulder blades. So I'm thinking about squeezing them at the bottom really tight, and I'm keeping them squeezed for as long as I can as my arm returns that bar to the top. Use a light weight on this one and really focus on technique. We'll finish this workout off with three sets of a deceptively challenging finisher. All we're doing here, you're gonna pull yourself first into the top of a chin up position and you're gonna hold there for five to eight seconds. Then you're gonna come out of that, shake it off. Then you'll pull yourself into the top of an uneven grip pull up position, hold for another five to eight seconds. You'll shake it off quickly and repeat on the other side, then shake it off and give me a pull up position hold. Our goal on these holds isn't just to survive them, it's to really appreciate what we're doing at the top. In particular, focus on pulling so hard that your shoulders are below your neck. It's a nice long-term safe shoulder position. Three sets and that's the workout. 